Well, hi, would you please say your name to hi. our lovely audience? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Heidi Giovine. I'm the house manager at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater. But before I became a house manager, I was a Broadway usher. Well, I would love to hear the story of <laughs> how, <laughs> what got you to this chair today? How did you find out about all of this wonderful world? I've always loved the theater and I've always loved going. And when, and I used to volunteer as an usher, like at nonprofits, you know, because you could see shows for free. And that was just like the best thing ever. Um, and then, and I, but then like, like there were certain shows that didn't have availability to usher and they were on Broadway. So I was spending like all my money on tickets and I was like, oh, I can't really keep doing this, you know. Um, but hair was up and I had done hair as a stage manager in college and I loved it so I went I got it came up on TDF and I got a ticket and I was in the last row of the rear mezzanine all the way up the stairs to if I'm facing the if I'm facing the house house right second seat in it was awesome it was a great production and um, a, a good friend of mine had recently died so I was a little sad and during the be-in, the actor who played Wolf ran all the way up the stairs, and my friend was sitting on the aisle, leaned over my friend, kissed me on the cheek, handed me a daffodil, and said, you are loved, and I was like an emotional mess. So after the show, my friend and I, we were talking about the whole thing and what, and what the actor had done, and one of the ushers said, we really need to clear the house, and I looked up, and I was like, you know what? I can't act, I can't dance, I can't sing, can't direct, can't, can't do any of that, but I can usher. And I literally, the next day, I sat down on my computer and I said, how do you become a Broadway usher? And they said, you know, you have to join the union and if you have Wednesday matinees, that's a, that's a great um, open, that's a great way to start. And um, I had a day job, but I was like, I have plenty of vacation time. And so they said, you know, put up a resume. And I called Local 306, which is the Ushers Union. And I said, hey, I said, I'd love to come talk to you about being a Broadway usher. I said, I'm polite. I said, I can do stairs. I said, I look great in black. And the woman who answered the phone, who was Mim Pollock, who was head of the union at the time, she was like, you know, you sound very, I, I don't know what word she used, but she was like, come on down and talk to me. And I went. And I chatted with her and um, she said, come do South Pacific at Lincoln Center. And so she sort of watched me for two performances and then she called me and she says, you want to go to Phantom? I'm like, I'm there. And, um, and I ushered at Phantom and before, um, when I had called the union, I had also, the, um, what I had read, they had said, apply to the chains to Schubert, to Jamson, Niederlander. So I had already faxed over a resume and I had called the Schubert HR and they said, oh, we're not hiring, but if they use you as a sub, then they have to hire you as in their system. Mm -hmm. So the woman called me and she goes, you subbed for us last night. She goes, didn't I just talk to her? I said, yeah. I said, I guess the door is open. She's like, come on down. And so I worked at, um, I applied for every chain and depending on what show I wanted to see, I would focus in on that and get myself in. And then finally the Schubert organization, somebody said to me, um, if you want to move up in the Schubert organization, you should, you should um, settle down. And I was like, well, once is playing at the Jacobs. I really like once. I'm like, all right. And then the, the woman who told me that she swears that she, had, she didn't have this ulterior motive, <laughs> but three months later they posted um, apply to be an apprentice house manager. And I didn't think I would get it but I thought maybe if they liked me, they would make me a chief. And the reason I wanted to be a chief usher was because I had observed that all the chief ushers make sh made sure that they all saw each other's shows. And I saw, well, this is fantastic because I can, I can be a regular usher um, and work at the sh and work there. And then, but I got hired as the apprentice, and so that's how I got. That's how I got here. Wow, <laughs> a crazy story. It's I, <coughs> somebody needs to write this as a no. musical or as a play. <laughs> no. it's, it's, you're, you're like the Rudy of uh, <laughs> of theater in that way. What people should realize is that as long as you have transferable skills, mm -hmm. you don't know where it's going to take you. You know, I've always been good with people and and interacting, and I've always been good with numbers. But if somebody told me like. That, that's what you need to be a house manager. I would have had no idea what they were talking about because when I was 
coming up 100 years ago, th these programs didn't exist. You didn't know. So I got into it late, but I'm so glad that I did. Well, let's drill down on that then for somebody that's now incredibly inspired by your story <laughs> and wants to follow in the career footsteps. What would be some of those skills? What, what can they do to prepare to, themselves? To be a house manager or to be an uh, usher? To, let's start, let's work our way up. So let's say, first they just want to be an usher and then okay. from there if they want to mm -hmm. move into say a house manager. Well, I would say anyone who's interested in ushering, um, there are so many arts organizations out there who need volunteers. So volunteer and see if you like it. That's, mm -hmm. That would be the first thing I would say. But if you like dealing with people, that's at the top of the list. Um, if you're someone who um, y you should note, you should notice things. So, like ushers will come to me and say, "Heidi, um, somebody over there, they're wobbling as they're approaching the stairs, or someone's sitting in this seat and their head is down, and you know, I'm not sure if they're asleep or something is is going on because they're the your the ushers are your are your house manager's eyes and ears because I always feel that." I can only be as good of a house manager as I can be if my ushering staff is good. You know, they see somebody approaching them with a walker, they don't wait for them to come to the aisle, they, they go to them and to see how they can help. So that's a, that's, those are two very important things. You also have to be the type of person who's a little laid back and you're not going to let, I, I, I often say to my ushers, they're in your lives for 30 minutes, don't give them the power. No matter what they say to you, your job is to make sure they have a nice evening. You don't know what they're bringing in with them, so you want to make it the best experience for them as you can. Um, it's also important that you know how to be part of a team and that you work well with others because if something happens, if there's a safety issue, you want to know that you can count on the people around you. But I would just say if you have a love of theater and you feel you're good with people, give ushering a shot. You know how the, the expression that they say, um, nothing is too good to be true? I think ushering truly is. You get paid to watch a Broadway show. Like just imagine, right? You don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to see Hamilton. You can get paid to be at Hamilton. I mean, how great is that, right? So you, you get to see, you get a master class in acting and in design and in lights every night you're there. So if you're interested in acting or stage management or direction or design, how could it be better than being an usher? That's how I feel anyway. Tell us a story, because you, you alluded to this earlier, about you truly are critical to the overall experience that people have when Absolutely. they come to the theater. Absolutely. Give me one or two stories that just make you smile when you think of an interaction you've had um, there, a patron last night was standing to the side, and um, and I said to him, "Can I can I help you?" And he says, "No, no, no." He said, "I'm waiting for my lady friend to come up from the restroom." And I said, "Oh, I said okay." I said, "I and I am sure you are worth the wait." And he was like 80 years old, and he took my hand and he kissed it, and that was really sweet. Oh. And then um, there's <laughs> there was um, I get hugged at least two or three times a week, like people find lost and found items and, you know, and you hand it back and they're like, oh my God, you <laughs> saved me and they, you know, and they hug you. But really the best thing is that when, at the end of the night when people are leaving, I usually say um, for betrayal, you know, like, thank you for coming to betrayal, you know, get home safely. And the, and people will compliment my staff and that, that mm. really means a lot because the ushers are, you know, a lot of times they're unseen, you know, and they really do such a good job and their job is so important. You are single-handedly changing that <laughs> grumpy New Yorker thing that people say yeah. about New York. It's, it's just wonderful. No, I mean, but it's, I mean, what is better than going to a Broadway show? To me, it's nothing, nothing. And, and I just think it's a privilege that people get to see it, you know? I mean, you're seeing the best acting in the world on Broadway, you know? So I want to make it as good for them as possible. To the world of people that love our art form, what's just some inspiration that you can give them? Oh my God, I don't know. Um, I would say if you 
don't want to work on Broadway, go see a Broadway show anyway because it's the best thing in the world. You know, you get to sit in a room with strangers and you have a shared experience and that makes us all better. But if you want to work on Broadway, start off and be an usher. There's a pension, there's health benefits, and you get to see the best acting in the world. So come, send your resume to the Broadway League, they'll get it to me and I'll pass it along to the Schubert organization. All right? How's that? <laughs> that Perfect. was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No.